Welcome everyone at the part 2. In this video we are finishing the job and I think that this second video is gonna be a uh, lot easier than the previous so let's go. For a start let's need some stuff here. We have these three like bodies so let's knit these faces into one. So only this top face should be uh, knit together. Again one knit knitting for this middle part. Okay. And now for the this third part we have to do a filled surface. So select these edges and uh, click here on fix up boundary and merge result. So when we merge results this is gonna be like knitting. And do not uh, form solids. As you can see this is now one uh, surface body and now let's do one trimming on a top plane sketch. Uh, do a polygon by two points. One, two. Now dimensions are 10.5 here. Radius is 3.75 and from this point till this one it should be 10.25 so this is as you can see a hole for the mouse wheel and trim just uh, this area here make sure it's a remove selection okay let's see what's next and now we can convert these bodies these surface bodies into a true solid bodies that are having the thickness. So go here to thicken and we are gonna do first this top part. It's gonna be 0 0.5 and direction is inside. Okay. Now again thicken for the middle part and uh, do not merge results. So select this and the uh, thickness now is gonna be one millimeter. Okay. And also thicken for this bottom piece it's gonna be do not merge result it's gonna be also one and again inside direction of the thickening and we got the shape now let's see what's left okay uh, top line sketch and do one rectangle by two points something like this the length should be 50 uh, uh, this dimension is 0 0.6 and from the origin to this top line is 0 0.3 now from this uh, from this point here till this edge we have one millimeter and okay that's it I guess Exit the sketch and let's do extruded cuts. Uh, we are going uh, up direction and through all and here in the feature scope uh, deselect auto select and select only this top part, this top body of the mouse. And yeah, this, this is what we want. Let's see what's next. Now we are working on a mouse wheel, so front plane sketch. We got two cycles, one bigger and one smaller. Uh, the smaller one
one is gonna be six in uh, diameter and bigger one is 25 this dimension is gonna be 30 and like this we have 15.5 Okay, exit, exit sketch and let's do extruded uh, boss um, 3.25 do not merge results direction 2 also is 3.25 okay and now pay attention we are working on a fillet for this mouse wheel so here where we have a fillet parameters in a profile select conic radius and let's first select these two edges so one and two and fillet radius is going to be 3.25 and here we have four so it's gonna be more like a curvature fillet. Okay, make sure that you have four, four solid bodies. And let's see what's next. Okay, we, we are still working on a mouse wheel front plane sketch. And let's uh, convert this sketch here. Make it for construction and do a center line from this point straight up and another one somewhere around here make it horizontal and make sure that this one is vertical now this vertical is going to be 12.6 and this this one is not really important, make it 10 but this dimension is important from the point till the line we have 3.5 and let's do one cycle here from this point and diameter is gonna be 0.5 I think that's it, let's do a revolt cut now axis of revolution is gonna be this one uh, here where we have direction 1 uh, select mid plane and the angle is 90 degrees and here in a feature scope select only the mouse wheel uh, solid body so this is how it looks like okay and we have this like cutting now we can do a let's first hide this solid body so that we can see the whole mouse wheel and yeah we can do the pattern so cycle our pattern features is gonna be this cutting and uh, this parameter is gonna be let's say this face number of the instances is 45 for full cycle of 360 and that's it now we can also do a fillet so fillet 0 0.15 I'm gonna select this one edge and I have this option in SOLIDWORKS that is like selecting all others immediately so I'm gonna press that if you are not having this option in SOLIDWORKS then you will have to manually select all these edges let's see how it looks like, yeah on my PC it's fine and that's it now let's wait some time and see what's next looking good by now and let's do one chamfer uh, distance is gonna be 0 0.75 angle 45 degrees and select this face oh sorry this outside face it's 
not really working. Let's try by uh, selecting the edges. Okay, now it's working. And same for inside, but this time the chamfer is 0 0.5. Let's try with the face. Okay, for the inside face it's cool, it's working. Okay, let's see what's next. We have a cutting on, uh, on this part. So let's do a top lane sketch and again I'm gonna do shift uh, up arrow two times to have this view and this this is how the sketch should look like one two three four and five now make sure that this one is vertical this one also and yeah this one is horizontal horizontal and vertical and these two they should be collinear okay now from the origin till this one uh, horizontally we have 16 uh, till here from the origin 3.87 this line is 23.5 and here we have 9 and let's just add a few dim dimensions for this one let's say 30 as minimum and here 20 <coughs> I think that's it we can now add just a few fillets first one is gonna be R5 it's for this corner here and uh, 2.5 for these two and R1 for this one okay and now we can do extra that cut but this is gonna be thin feature make sure that uh, okay that thin feature is selected and select the mid plane option uh, this input here is 0 0.2 so direction is uh, up and select through all here uh, feature scope do not select all what is just this one the bottom piece that this shouldn't be a full sorry it should be blind and five millimeters as height yeah this is how it should looks like next thing is front plane sketch and do a line from this point horizontally and press A to switch to tangent arc and just do something like this now do one center line that is vertical and make it coincident with this edge here and make it coincident with this tangent arc now that point is gonna be from this bottom edge or the origin however whatever 7.5 and this edge is gonna be 12.5 and I think that's it let's just make sure that this is uh, for example 10 Okay, now we can do extra that cut. Again, it's a thin feature, mid plane, 0 0.2, and yeah, we can do through all, through all, direction 1 and direction 2, uh, 
feature scope only for this for this body let's see how it looks like and yeah uh, keep all bodies do not delete anything and we got the the lead for the battery and so we got it done let's let's just do a few fillets so fillets uh, radius 2 for this edge and also here and we have to do another one for this edge because it's on a, a different solid body and here also radius is 2 and now let's show the body we hide this one the bottom piece, the top piece and we need a fillet 0.1 for this edge here okay let's select also this one and we have to select more of them to make it work Okay, looks, looks like it's working with three edges selected. And next thing is also a 0 0.1 <coughs> fillets for this edge here and this one. And also these here. again for these angles I mean corners and fillet 0.2 now let's do another 0 0.1 no we can't 0 0.2 for this one and this one okay And I think we are done today. There is only one fillet left. It's a 0 0.1 for this one. Let's select again more edges. Let's see, is it working? Yeah. So this was surfacing tutorial, not pay attention that this mouse in a real a real life is not actually um, not actually having these parts like this from the outside it's looking like this but the parts inside are a bit more complicated than what I did so the point of this tutorial was only how to shape the outside I could uh, make I could also make a lot more and do it properly but that will definitely last forever but like this I think I did something good and in part 3 I'm gonna do Keyshot rendering so if you are interested take a look at that video also see ya